getting hit. The other day, I rode like almost fifty thousand dollars in fines in like three hours, and uh, you know, without those fifteen percent, um, you know, I, I spent seventeen hundred on a repair per shift, to fight bur- fight um, that's, up to that's like a thousand twelve hundred on on repairs. There's not much left if I don't have those fifteen percent, right? So I I can barely eat. I mean, yeah. the fifteen percent again was was not the mayor's decision. We understand. When I had spoken about that, right, but that that combined with the paycheck, that. like it's like yeah, I mean, you the know, paycheck's kind of yeah. double hit. Is how mm-hmm. it. The the paycheck wouldn't matter if we still had the fifteen percent. I get that the fifteen percent aren't exactly on him. It's it's but not like you can't say like, not exactly on him. If it's out of his hands, it's out of his hands. You can't blame him for it. Yeah, yeah. The, no, I'm I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying like that combined with like how little we make on a paycheck now. And like, if we make 700 on a paycheck, a 5% raise is like $30. We have one of the hardest jobs here. Don't make 700 here. on a paycheck anymore, by the way, just saying. We have one of the hardest jobs. We are constantly putting our lives on the line every single day, yet we aren't being compensated for it in, like everything that we earn goes back into this department. And I understand us being self-sufficient. <sighs> That's oh. fine. That's work. But we are living mm-hmm. off of pennies where we can't even afford to fucking feed I ourselves. I feel like you guys are in the same as I do. Us. And I can I'm gonna put make a living just fine. Here, okay? So I did cool. say I worked yesterday 10 hours. And my and fucking I got vehicle's an X-Class. It's like a fucking money pad. Right? In order to be able to catch up with most vehicles right now in crimes, we need to use Tauruses. Okay. A Taurus, if you have to have a repair on a Taurus, it's going to cost you in the range between, if you have the parts, 2700 If you don't have the parts, up to upwards of 4000 Okay? If if mm-hmm. I have to pay one repair per shift, let's say 10 hours, let's, let's take the median of that, and let's say I need to pay 3200 I am left out of that paycheck with what? 2600 bucks. I have to gas up the car a couple of times because in 10 hours you you, you definitely do if you're patrolling, right? Because we're not supposed to be sitting still and, and, you know, putting our thumb up our asses. I guess you're going to go through about five refills, which is about $100 each. That's minus 500 again, so I'm making 2100 I buy a bit of food, which no longer is being sold anywhere at any 24-7. Not the mayor's fault. I get it. It's the state. They Wait, wanna, did we remove? You know, they oh, no, we didn't, did we? Court. I go over there, I guess I get There's gotta no spend you cannot buy food at the twenty four sevens. Whenever it's open, right? Unless I'm <laughs> I'm on a strict diet of uh, chips all day. Or I spend another I don't know, maybe three, four, oh, five hundred dollars. So what am I left with at the end of the day? Fifteen hundred dollars in ten hours. That means Oh yeah, oh oh yeah, 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 yeah. Up on that, if we catch somebody and there's a car that we can't, uh, you know, yeah. definitely impound, we gotta pay the tow mm-hmm. truck. It's for food and for RP. I, I don't want to go there. Tow truck driver, three hundred bucks. People fucking said, loud. Three hundred bucks, dude. Like, come on, I make so, more than that by just towing locally. So we yeah. we need to stop doing that because we need we need to get like a consistent thing down. Maisie knows like everything about tow, basically. From what I've heard, Maisie, can you clarify? Um, if- I got paid $580 uh, $580 for towing a single vehicle that was called it. Oh my god, that's what I'm getting an hour. <gasps> I'm but I've not been able to go towing for god knows how long cuz I my priority is with the department training cadets and getting those guys ready to be Oh, that's crazy. That's what I make in an hour. Woo! And from today, I've heard that the mayor is not happy with officers having a second job alongside oh, working the at the pd because we need to prioritize our job as an leo you're kidding me so 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 that i mean that's so two things one um i was speaking with the mayor last night and he was talking about like how he's he's going through and checking the pay of everybody because i brought up the point of like okay we make way the hell less than everybody else based on just how how pay has been inflated and stuff over the course of the last three months and uh he said he had been going through and looking at how much everybody's getting paid and he brought up tow specifically um it's not really the point right but he was saying people are kind of abusing their their work as as a tow driver and uh even even the ones who aren't they're getting paid a hell of a lot more than they probably should be per hour based on like comparing them to a police officer um so there's that but as far so as, 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 as far as job that. in the city though we well, are the lowest paid yeah. job well exactly you're not he, the lowest paid job though you're not per even that hour. Per 
<laughs> per, per, per hour? You okay? Bit. How much are you making per hour? Five hundred and eighty bucks. Five hundred. You don't even know. Bucks. No, 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 okay. I think we're making like this morning. I just I started this morning. We're at seven twenty. You're at seven twenty. Oh, so you're at seven. So you're making back. basically no, the same as I'm making. Tax. Oh. Yeah. Oh, do you have a quota? Do I have a quota? Yeah, what what does that matter if I have a quota? Certain, do you have to sit? Do you? Do you have to hit certain uh you know certain levels before you get? Pay, are you being, being if you don't? But the, at any point in time, are you putting your life at risk by every hour that you spend on duty? Am I putting my life at risk? Yes, every because every time I make a decision, we have shit like this happening. We have people literally threatening to murder us because of the decisions we make. We're not doing that. You're well, saying that well, it's extortion, like instead of just talking to Max. Here's the thing. I get that people do not like the quota system, but you're sitting here complaining instead of like writing it down and then taking it to Max. We have a council meeting every week where everyone shows up, usually. You can take these concerns and the, the things that you think to that meeting and present it. Does who he listen? Spoken to Max? Wait, who here has spoken to Max? Raise your hands. Have you tried to talk to Max? What? Oh, Have you yeah. Spoken? Maisie? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I personally I, he don't said see him, so I haven't been I, able I, to. I, I, I can try and come around. You, I'm, I'm going to tell you the last thing. Look, I, feel like, look. I feel like if we just ask the, uh, the vice mayor, listen, Ms. Vice Mayor, if you could just ask the mayor to, to find it, uh, pencil us in to come to one of these meetings, that would be perfect. And I think Max, that Max is showing just... up in the next meeting. Perfect. You okay. see? Like, look, 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 I'm gonna, so I'm gonna say something. The last time I was speaking to the mayor and uh, Officer Rhodes was with me, he called us lazy and greedy. Mm -hmm. He said officers like us are the reason because that Rhodes, our... Yeah, because Rhodes literally told him that he wants to agree. work to live and not work to work. Yeah, live to work. We don't live to work, we work to live, yeah. I, the, multiple people have spoken to him regarding issues, Deputy Mayor. Uh, do we have to do that in front of everyone? Because I mean, you, I mean, you've just pointed out. Should we really have our pay discussed in front of everyone? So, to do we have to do it in what? In, 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 when me, you say in front of the let council, me, let me finish, please. So you're saying for the mayor to make any change, we have to do it in front of everybody because these people have had one-on-one -on -one conversations, and they've also basically been met with "haha, don't like it, tough shit." I mean, t to be fair, again, like I speak with him and I and I verbalize what the issues are. Yeah, and but he doesn't listen to you. Um, but nothing I mean, gets I think done. He, I think he does. Well, I mean, he we, tells we, you our, what you want to hear. Our, our, no, our pay went up fifty dollars an hour last night. Uh, can I? Am I allowed to? Am saying. I allowed to respond? It's yeah. part of it. Okay. Yeah, no, sure. I, I didn't. I didn't say Just you have to. I didn't say you have to listen. talk in front of everyone. I'm saying that that if you want to present it, you can do it in front of us because we are always at that meeting. If you want to talk to him, you can always just hit him up. But again, you keep saying that you've never run into him. I am not going to use that against you. I'm not going to use that against Max. Max is around at hours that he's around. You are around at hours that you're around. If you don't bump into him, that's unfortunate. Someone else can do it. Hey, look. I don't I'm tell gonna, people gonna... to wake up just to have a conversation with somebody. That is dumb. I mean, I'm, really, most listen, of this listen, is going. I'm, I'm, it should go I through got Dakota. a solution for all of this, okay? Yeah, let's hear Chief, um, why don't you talk to the mayor, ask him to give you some metrics about our pay and everything else? Uh, what what's been going on the past couple of days? Just just as as a thing, so we can actually do a proper proposal. I'm not gonna go into a a, a, a I'm not gonna write a proposal off of nothing, out of thin air, out of things that happen you know i can go and then look at my bank account and look at my hours but that's what I they're doing do now based off of that but that's just me and i don't represent the whole department there's people that work four hours the people can work five hours i can work 10 and I manage that with a little bit of extra money that i get from that but let's get some metrics i want to see a proper detailed report from the mayor's office based on the police pay and what changes were made and what was the hourly pay then okay, we if you can go if, from there. If you don't have like those said, metrics, then how are you? Within this room, we will talk about this for like the next two hours. Mm. Hey, that is a good meeting, you, guys. I've been, what, I think yeah. it's a meeting. Yeah. What That's individually do okay. you each want to see? I will leave myself open for the next few hours so that you can tell me. And I will speak to him. <laughs> and I will put everything plainly. Oh, I will my put God. everything out there. I'll put my opinions out there. And if I lose my job, I lose my job. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see why you would put, like, I don't see why you would lose your job just because you're speaking your mind and you're presenting feedback from everybody. That is not, the, like, 
I don't know well, why people would keep painting. So, Max is also, okay. You're painting it like Max is a devil. Continuity plan changed it so that I would I wouldn't have power. So, how do you not have power though? What? I what? faintly remember that you were called to deal with somebody. How do you not have power? I mean, I would, but he has power over me instead of vice versa. Has he? Has he instead used of me that power? Full control of the PD. And that's where the problem lies. I too that's have my problem. issue. <laughs> but we don't he bring has. that up. He unilaterally reduced our salaries based off of what? That is that has nothing to do. He could have done that even if he wasn't in power of I the mean, PD. He's kind of doing but it under the table, though. Listen, listen he's the pay is one thing, table. okay? Because I will do this job regardless if I get paid or not. Amen. Yeah. With I don't the, care about the that. Biggest hold, thing? On. Yeah. hold on. Hold, 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 hold. I'm talking about he can fire people and I can't say no. And that's real. We can, and but we haven't done so. You can. Know, but I'm, I'm saying just... you can. Yeah. I mean, ha to be fair, again, having the having the ability to do something and actually doing it is two different things. Very so much so. I, I don't think that we should be acting out of a place of fear, and we should just go out there and do our damn job <sighs> and just do it the best we can, like we always do. Worry and things are going to be fine. Change. Yeah. Worry about what you can change until you have the opportunity to do more. Like I said, filter your opinions and thoughts through me, and I'll filter them appropriately and deal with it appropriately. Thank you, sir. I, <laughs> Thank you, we'll just sit here and talk I will about work here no matter the pay. Yeah. Amen, I think they said. said. I'm like, you just complained about you your all fucking for pay you do. for the last, what, hour You're doing a fantastic almost. job. I know things aren't so easy. But they will get better. They will. Well, that was a good conversation, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, uh, Johnson has a speech he wants to give. Apparently, okay. I do. Me? Eric's I do. already up there. Uh, Other Johnson. Uh, give me, oh. give me, Any chance you're gonna let me out? Bear? Uh, this is going speech. in circles. No, it's oh, Gregory. Yeah. What the oh, fuck again? Okay. Wait, Larry? No, Gregory. I don't think I have a speech. Thank you. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell so you what's say. Be, be uh -huh. on the lookout for some of these third floor calls. Uh, I was eating the whole time because I think it's a worthless conversation. Did I just because hear? Did I just hear Beric say, "I will work here even though I don't get paid"? And then they um, answer with okay, "Amen." <laughs> and they've been complaining about their pay for the last hour. So how is that even? How does that compute? I don't understand. Cut their pay again, know. there, Mr. Simone. I. Hey, Kyle. I, bro, hey, Mr. With, Simone, are you guys hi hiring for the PD Oversight Committee? Uh, it's too late, unfortunately. Uh, okay, I was about to say I could really help you out. Honestly, I would put you there if I could, but unfortunately, we have four people already selected. Uh, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Why what don't you, uh, consigliere? Pred, why don't you throw me your number real quick? Yeah, it's uh, four twenty. Oh, give me two seconds. I have turned into time. a boomer. Give me four twenty. Yeah, four hundred. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, six. Sorry, four twenty six hundred. Ten forty five. Ten. Forty. Forty five. Thank you. Right. All right, there you go. That's mine. Is that you, Michael? Yes. Perfect. I think uh, Max should be waking up in I don't know two or three hours. Maybe I'll give you a call. I'm gonna have to go in. Gosh, I don't want to. I don't want to hold you guys up with too much. Have a good day, Mr. Simone. Yeah, we, I appreciate meet, it. Uh, we can meet anytime. Whatever uh, works for you guys works for me. Uh, no, I, yeah, I have to go and decompress because that that meeting was just fucking useless. Yeah, I could hear it. They uh, they don't have anyone who's really uh, you know, telling them how things are gonna be. You, know, well, you always gotta have a spokesman. The issue is that they, they the communication is bad from both sides, but at the, mm -hmm. at the same time, like they are supposed to communicate between themselves. You know, nobody's doing that. We are not. Yeah, they never did. No, we are not supposed to come down here every time we make a fucking decision to let them know. We we tell their higher higher ups and then they should communicate that you know down that's how it should be yeah they should yeah i mean that's that that's how it should be indeed i mean it's like a chain of command exactly but i don't know man they're but complaining they got about pay, the, you cut their pay uh max they cut their pay but he put it back up but they're still complaining they know you know they make almost as much as i do and they're complaining the about not being able about? to i don't know i have a car that's an x class which is like a fucking money pit I can still afford food. 
It's crazy. Like I, I understand. Probably got that a house too. Uh, well, yeah, I have a house, but it's shared with like a lot of people. So. It seems like that's what a lot of people. I'm sharing a house with some people too. Yeah, exactly. So that that's what most people do. So I, I this is crazy to me, and I will fuck. I again, I have to do, go and decompress because, like. If people don't voice, I, I understand that people have yeah, issues. If you need to vent about anything, I have a lot of experience. I can, might be able to help you out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, give me a little bit. I'll give you a call. I'll, I'll vent yeah, to you. Yeah, you take your time, man. Yeah. When you want to meet, I'll be available for you. All right. I'll give you a call. Appreciate it. I'll be All back. Right, later, Mr. Simone. I need to take it. Oh, let, me, let me get the dough for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Is, is, uh... Yeah, they call it squirty cream. All right. Well, thanks for clearing that up. No, I just don't understand. Like, I, I get that people have their opinions, but my fucking God, if you want to voice your opinion, there is a way to do it. And it's not by saying that the fucking quota system ex is extortion. That's what they don't understand. Like, they're, they're, they're not making it easier by, on, on themselves at all. If they're going to be passive aggressive or just generally straight up aggressive every time they talk about it, like, what, what are we supposed to do? It has the opposite effect. Like, I am there because I want to hear the feedback, but the way they do it, I want to cut their pay even more. <laughs> it's like, you're not doing yourself a, pay a favor here. shift one culture <sighs> no but i'm there to help like i'm literally there to hear them out but the way they they fucking present them like present themselves is like and the, the biggest mind-blowing thing about that entire conversation is that barrett goes i will be here if i get paid or not and then people proceed to agree with him but they had a, just an hour fucking meeting about their pay Give me a second. I'm gonna take a piss. My lord. Gamer kit, thank you so much for giving that Sabrina. Oh, Jesus. We have a net revenue of 2.8. We are kind of tanking, but... 
Police Department and Financial Finances. So they're getting 750. You think Michael is out of touch? Probably. Before tax? Yeah, this is before tax. How much income tax? I don't fucking know. Where's the income tax? Income tax is 5%. It's like nothing. Then called Barrick. Look, I'm not that much of a prick. Okay. You, you, you. Nakoda isn't the only point of contact, though. Barrick is also. And if Max is actually legitimately telling Barrick about his changes too. Barrick is not telling them much. Well, that's not really Max's fault, is it? Employee salary, efficiency is 0%, and the recycling machine is 100%. Hmm. Toe has to be bucked. Uh, there's probably something fucky with Toe. Did Michael see the missing coffee machine? Actually, that reminds me. We have to go back and, and take the coffee machine. People just super power gaming the Toe system? Probably. Not surprising. Oh, Max did? Wait, how did Max already do that? Why is there videotapes in the corner? <laughs> he was grumpy last night. <laughs> I'm going to go there nonetheless. I'm gonna call Andy and then we'll go grab it. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. You still up north? Mm, I have come down to the library to test something. You come down to the library to test something? Okay. Do you want to go and pick up a, a espresso machine from PD with me? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I say to, yes. Okay, I'll go to the library. You'll see there. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Max got it yesterday? Yeah, but we don't know that. Give PD microwave coffee. All right, that's that's fucked up, dude. Who would who would microwave their coffee, man? That's crazy.
Hello. 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 So what exactly? What What is going on? I need a box. Oh. What? Oh, you just you. Uh, shouldn't be talking to me. I shouldn't be talking. Well, you're the one to call me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you shouldn't be talking to me. Okay. So, uh, okay. Yep. All right. All right. Okay, bye. I gotta test something inside. Okay. Hello. 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 What's up? Nothing. Nothing. No. 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 You sure? Yeah. Okay. Are you in Italy? No. Okay, where are you at? I'm in a club with Dahlia. You where? I'm in a club with Dahlia in Vespucci. You're in a club with Dahlia at Vespucci? Yes. Where the fuck is there a club in... Huh? Ha -ma -ma -ma? Car? Like the car? Club car? Oh the cl oh the car. The club. Okay, yeah. that's what you meant. Yeah. Where am I going down? Is this it? In club back. Also, I don't know, I wasn't trying to be cheeky. I didn't know you you already had a rental. Okay, you don't say to someone, go get a rental. Why don't you not take the car? Is in this it's the same sentence. Don't say that to people. That's cheeky. How is that cheeky? You, Just you... go spend your money. I know I've taken the car, but you go waste your money. Go, go have fun, Jay. Go live your life. Can you rather I tell you to stick around for an hour so I can come back up? Ah! Honestly, at least it sounds like you give a shit. Okay. I'll say that in the future. <laughs> oh. You know, you could have waited for me and give me a ride down. I didn't know you were going to go down. I wasn't actually planning to be here for long. But... As always, this fucking meeting turned into a fucking disaster. What? Oh, dude, the, the, the PD meeting is always an hour long. Always. Yeah, but this is like way worse. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, I can tell you a little bit. I need to go pick up the uh, the espresso machine. <laughs> Why are you picking up the espresso machine? Because they don't deserve it. Okay, please, Michael, don't kill them any further. You, they're already dead. Stop stop kicking them. Oh, no, they're doing this to themselves. Oh, they're not. No, yeah, they they're not. Yeah, okay, they what are. are they doing so bad? I will I will call you in a second. Can you can you hold off from taking their special machine slowly? Uh, you can explain it to me, please. And then maybe I can play devil's advocate. <sighs> okay, fine. Thank you. All right, I'll call you in a second. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. What, what's up? Okay, what's this with the espresso machine? Well, okay, so I, so Max, okay, first of all, I'm not allowed to take it for some reason. That's uh, okay, I have a better idea. Ma Mac, uh, Mac, my, fuck, Max. Good morning. Hi. Max Hi. went out and promised Rhodes an espresso machine. Okay. I went out, went out, I bought an espresso machine, I gave it to them. And... Now all they do is is complain and whine, so they don't deserve said espresso machine. Okay, you know what we should do. Espresso, whatever. I should do what. This is a bit I've wanted to do for six years. Espresso. And you machine. have the Fuck perfect you. opportunity right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Listen, we break it. Okay. Right. Then you set the espresso machine down at the next meeting, and you say, "I'm not mad." I just want to know who broke it. <laughs> and then you watch as they tear each other apart going, um, I saw this person buy it last and it becomes a huge problem. And then there's destruction and chaos and anger. And then you're just secretly like, hee hee, I broke it. Well, you watch them fall the frick apart. I was going to do it to the SDSO back in the day, but I never got the chance. Because, you know, war. War, okay. Then it's broken and you've so descend among their community. Okay, so I should do it at the meeting? 
to break it first, and then you show up with it at the meeting. Oh, I, I break. Okay. Know who broke it? Okay. <sighs> All right. That let you me. Did it, or that I did it. It doesn't matter who did it. Cause I'll uh... do it, just so you don't get flack. <laughs> I need to get let in though, so. But I'm not okay. allowed to do it yet, so let me see where the fucking. Cause then you're not technically taking it, you know. There's a bunch of cops up there, including Barrack, I think, because he's always wearing a button up. Yeah. I don't feel like they like me right now. I'll ask. No, Barrett it's fine. We'll, really wait. we'll, wait. we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll come back. Oh, he yeah, really, I... really likes me. Oh. Huh. Oh. Really likes. Really likes. Yeah. Yeah, like really likes. <laughs> ah. You know? Mm hmm. Gotcha. I'm sure I can find somebody like really. that. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. You don't have, you, you're, you don't have to. Like he I, wants it. <laughs> uh huh. You know. Mhm. Mm like really. Yeah. No. I understand. Okay. Just making sure. Mhm. Mm now what? Uh. You don't want to go yet. Huh? You don't want to go yet. No, let's go meet up with Jenny and fucking uh, Dahlia. I'll let you know what happened as well. Slow, it makes me go nice and slow. Okay. Do you guys sell outdoor furniture? Do we sell outdoor furniture? Yeah. I'm not sure. Like, a tent. <laughs> A ten times, sure. We a can. singular ten. Sure, we can do that. Whoa. How did your meeting go? What meeting? Didn't you have a meeting like Sunday? Oh, the meeting that I said, yeah. Um, I left. The you former left. HOA. Why? Because it's just time. It's just not the same. It's just time. We are so complacent and stagnant and not doing anything, but also not being ourselves and doing the things that we love doing that I know the HOA for being. But it's also like, you know, the biggest thing Sis taught us is to adapt and change with the times. And honestly, the HOA is so old. That it's older than half the people who live here now. But I feel like it's kind of like run its course. And if they're going to adapt it into something new that fits how the city is now, their best chance to do that is to rip me and Sizz's names off of the project so they can actually have a chance at calling themselves something different and functioning mm -hmm. differently, et cetera, et cetera. Because otherwise it's always going to be like, oh, that's HOA, that's Andy, that's Sizz. Yeah. Well, that's always going to be a thing, though, is like when you guys have your name attached to it, it's always going to be your thing. Exactly. So like when I'm not interested in leading and Sizz isn't around and we need to pick a new leader, I don't feel like they'll get past the public perception that I'm in charge unless I am like definitively not in the group. So in a way it's good for me because I am done leading and they'll still be my friends and see them anyway. Uh, but it's also really good for them because they'll be able to get rid of the attachments that I feel like are just holding them back at this point. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I want them to grow and change and be whatever they want, but I didn't feel like I was doing anything but holding them back just by being there. That's fair. But they're changing the branch, so I can still say I was in HOA until the HOA was no more. Which is good. Why am I asking you on? So, I'm out on my own, but that means I moved out of the house, which is why I'm asking for a tent. I want to see if I can move back up to my camping spot. Did I enable you? No, I think I disabled it. Forever. It's only the phone that's fucky, though. Mm. My little tent. I'll build a little fire, and that's all I need. That's all you I need? I don't have my... Yeah, I don't have my dog anymore, but... That's all I need to live. That was probably the most peaceful chapter of my life, to be honest, so I wouldn't mind going back. Like, the, the UI itself is fine. It's only when I type nice. in the phone, it's fucking slow. Uh, I'm sure we can figure something. Is it the same spot you want to go? Yeah, it was okay. honestly I love that spot because once I left it after my like week hiatus or, or like my little week long retreat 
a ton of other people were going up there and using the spot and i kind of love seeing that every time i went there afterwards other people were using it for like you know deep campfire conversations or like Be their sure. own little wilderness trips or using it as like a little uh reference meeting point for when people would be on foot hunting trips it was nice i think it was Blah. accidentally that's a how slow it is for people spin thank you so much for bringing us up all right we'll, we'll sort something out for you wow. and i was a lumber lady so i can chop wood for a fire i'm very handy you know mm -hmm. i remember when i i went hunting with boris on bareback <clears throat> and he would go after the animals that showed up to my page <laughs> it was the most fun hunting trip i've been on well hunting now is just oh you look like cyber criminals. Thanks. You're gonna hack the security system in a server room. <sighs> Something like that. Can That's I go? Cool. Okay, so Andy came up with a better idea. I'm not gonna go steal the fucking espresso <laughs> machine. I'm gonna go and make Stir. it break. And then I'm gonna ask them who broke it at the <laughs> meetings. I'm not mad. I just want to know who broke it, and then you're gonna have an Among Us level fight break out. Yep. I, if I were in that room, I would throw mm -hmm. someone under the bus immediately. Be like, I saw them buy the coffee machine last. I'm just saying. And then they'll be like, Oh, really? And then it'll be a big problem. <laughs> and it'll be great. Plus ones, farming all those plus ones. Uh. So that meeting was fucking like I'm there. Because I want to hear them out. I want to hear their feedback. I want to know what the fuck they're doing. I want to know their opinions. But my god, is it a fucking kindergarten? <sighs> Should I not be here? This is very quiet. Huh? And they're very quiet. No, you can be here. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Why would you not be here? I don't know. Oh, I don't give a shit. PD's a fucking disaster right now. You can hear that if you want to. Or should we know they're too quiet? Should I go? No, huh? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, they. So what blew my mind is that they were talking about, you know, their pay for like almost an hour. Literally, how they're not making enough money to even buy food. Uh. Like their caught their pay was cut, uh, even though it was put back up. Like all of these things, and then they end the fucking meeting with, "I will be here even if I don't get paid." And everyone goes like, "Amen." And it's like you just complained about your pay for an hour, and then you go and say that at the end. That, 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 how how do you get from that to that? I don't know what that means. I was trying to fucking talk to them about, like, have you talked to Max? Have you guys noted down your feedback? Have you guys, like, talked about your opinions in a manner that isn't just fucking quarter points is extortion? We don't like it. Fuck the quarter points. I don't give a shit. Max is a fucking dictator. I don't have any power. Max is the fucking boss. They're all... Ugh, it... it Blows my mind. I don't have a ringleader being like, okay, this is what we make. This is what we need to get by. This is what we're going to bring forward and say, how do we get here? That's what I told them. Like, hey, you know, we have a meeting every fucking Saturday. You could have somebody, you know, just go up and, and, and give us all your feedback at that meeting. And then I get fucking... An Andy level presentation. Yeah, and then I get thrown under the bus like, uh, we don't want to go to that meeting. Why do we have to present it in front of everybody? I was like, that's not what right. I said. You can just talk to Max one on one if you want to. But, but that, why even wouldn't that you is... if your pay's that important to you? Th Apparently that's at least what I one mean. person is willing to do that among all of them. That's what I mean. You mean like a... And I'm... <sighs> Isn't that what Nakota should be doing? Mm, yes, but also no. It's not just his... On it's, behalf of them? Yes. it's not just on him, but like, wouldn't he like it's, very it's on easily him. be the guy who could present what they put together? Yes, it is. And and uh, if they don't go to him, though, there's no way he can do it. If they don't talk to Nakota, the one, then, then, then what? 
mm. he doesn't have to actively go out there and ask every single person how how do you feel what is your opinion on this they go to him and then they give him their feedback so he can present it you think and i would assume they did the same thing with higher ups like n not just in the coda like <laughs> don't get me wrong i like Beric, but what he said in that fucking meeting was crazy to me what are you saying Mm, he was talking about how he has no power. It's all Max because Mac can hire and fire and do whatever he wants. I'm like, has he ever done it though? I, I faintly remember yesterday that he called you to take care of a person, even though he could probably do it himself. He's letting you do your job. Like both Max and, hi and I have the fucking power to hire, fire and do whatever the fuck we want. Have we done so? No. We haven't like, actually stepped in and done anything in terms of PD. Like the optics on Max are that he's not he hired as Cornwood. easy to work with as he actually eh. is if you actually try to work with him. Well, that's the thing. I, I, I said at the fucking meeting when everyone was piping up, like, you're painting Max as the fucking devil. Like, I get it they that you really don't like... Talk to him. He's really yes, but they don't want to... Kind of like dealing with Reed. They don't want to talk to him. That's the crazy chaotic part. shit, but the second you, like, sit him down and say, listen, this is why this is important, they'll probably listen to you. So, uh, normally I'm there to hear them out and just have a conversation and see how they're, like, feeling. But that, that fucking meeting made me tilt sideways. I don't know how I'm standing. I'm standing straight, like, right now. I, I... And that's why Sorry. I am, I am stealing that espresso machine. <laughs> or breaking it. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm done. You're fine, bent away. They shouldn't have the power. The power is it's the power is in writing. No we we the have the power. We haven't done anything with it. Hmm? You gonna say something? I was just listening. listening what you had to say yeah and you were going to play devil's advocate as to why I shouldn't take the espresso machine an espresso machine hmm it's an espresso machine and there's a few things that they that was positive about your interactions with them why take that I said don't deserve it okay you know they make almost as much as I do and then they're complaining about not being able to pay for fucking food. Okay. Is she espresso too? I don't fucking know. I said espresso. Es espresso. I've removed the X set. Thank you very much. And they're so up in arms about the quota system without like giving any sort of feedback. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to keep talking. She's not going to say anything. Also, I know it's it's uh, I know it's Moon's day off, but he did say that he might come around, so I will see. <laughs> Ira, thank you so much for 18 months. Would be way later. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Do I think towing is bucked? Yeah, I'd say making 700 a tow is a bit much. I am ready for Devil's Advocate. I don't know if I want to go down the path, Matt, honestly. Mm. 
Okay. Didn't the council voice their hate for the quota? I don't think anyone voiced their hate. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the playing devil's advocate on this one. Why? Because I'm wrong or because they're wrong? Mm, it sounds like your mind's pretty much made and I don't think it's there's going to be much to change it. So I don't know if it's worth going down the path. It can be changed though, but not with the way that they go about it. I am, I, again, I go to these meetings because I want to hear them out. Right, but have you ever thought maybe they don't want to talk to you? Okay, let's go down the path. Um, those meetings aren't for you. That's the first point. Well, apparently they okay, are because I, they want us I, to can go. I, can I finish before you go there? And let me get the whole thought out. What is it with everyone on those meetings pausing are and then being like, supposed don't to be speak. for announcements and also a general discussion in which, in which they can talk about what what's going on and how they're feeling now cool yes you're invited there but usually in my history of knowing pd you don't save the entire meeting people are going to get told information they're inna innately always going to go to being negative immediately every time so they're going to need some way to let that express expression out and the way they do it is in their meetings by giving their opinion are they always correct no but they need to be have, have a place where they can voice it no, they're not going to come up with solutions. No, they're not. They're going to be inherently negative and they're going to be shitty about it because like, because they need a moment to to think about it and to actually process it. The fact of the matter is they can't change what is happening, but their failings are still very valid about them regardless whether they're right or wrong. So when they get to those meetings, they have a back and forth. They have a, hey, I think this is shitty. And then someone else in the group goes, well, actually, from my perspective, it's the same thing. It's, it's a time in which they get to bounce it all back and forth with each other. Yeah, it's cool. It's not it's not cool for you to listen there. As the objective third party, you're going to get shit on. But it's always, that's where they get to talk about it. It's literally like that is their place where they all get to be a group and they get to bounce the ideas off of each other. Yes, they're sometimes it's ridiculous. But you know what? That is their right. And to expect to go into a meeting after giving them inherently bad news and for them to be able to make completely... Um, rational discussion points immediately off the bat is ridiculous from you because that's not going to happen. It's literally their place where they get to have their privacy and their talk about it. Yes, they're inviting you. Yes, you can be there, but they also have the right to voice their opinions. And yes, sometimes they're ridiculous with it. I've been in them. It's, it's you know, it, it is what it is. But you can't go in there inherently thinking that every single person in that room is going to be positive. They can't change what's happening. They can voice their opinions on it. But that's it. So yeah, they're going to be irrational. But you know what? If you went back in 24 hours and asked the exact same questions, you know what will happen? A lot of them will literally come back with relevant questions and relevant answers or actually wanting to understand. But when you're asking them straight off the bat, the moment they've had to digest it, they are going to be irrational. Every time. It's been a few days at this point. I'm just going to wait for her to allow us to talk. Same as when you're put on the spot, you don't come out with the best answers. You know that. If somebody puts you on the spot, you don't always have the most realistic or humbly with your best answer or the best questions to ask. You have to take time to, to understand it, to decompress from it, to see how it will reflect in their life. And yeah, some of them are just being stupid and will all and you'll always have those people who are just going to be fucking stupid and are going to be ridiculous. But some of them just need time to compress. Yeah, I am one of those people. If you give me bad news, I instantly Tuesday, go to Wednesday? doom. Give me 20 minutes and I'll think about it and I'll come to a logical conclusion. Most people are like that. It was put in place on Saturday, officially Sunday. You've got to think it's not just today that they're getting bad news. It's been every single day. It's just an accumulation of a lot of things. And I was there last night. I saw the conversation that happened between Max and Rhodes. It was ridiculous. Am I allowed to talk? <laughs> what convoys are you talking about? Apparently Rhodes and Max talked yesterday? Uh, 
Oh, it might have been her private meeting with, with Rhodes then. I'm going to do the thing, chat. I have to tell you you can talk now or? Yes. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm not doing that. Well, I don't I don't want to cut you off. Okay, now okay, I'm going to go if you're going to be like this. I, I don't I don't need to be This is your thing, not mine. So I had somebody do the same in the meeting, so I don't know when I'm allowed to talk at this point. I mean, Michael, I said a single sentence and you spoke over me and told me I'm wrong. No, I didn't say you were wrong. You I got I got out three words and you instantly started talking. You paused. So, so I would assume that that you know that that's where you talk, like in between pauses. Okay. Though I don't, I don't in, inherently disagree with what you say, but they cannot. So here's the thing with what you say is that I shouldn't show up to the meetings because they, that's their meeting where they can vent. But in that's said meeting, saying. go ahead. That's kind of what you said, though, that I shouldn't be at the meeting because they want to be able to talk their like have their opinions and they have to, you know, digest what is like the bad news and, and what is being given to them. Is that, what is, I'm saying is that you're not going to get an inherently positive, um, inherently positive response every single time. I'm not trying to. I'm not but going. No, I, I went to the meeting. I didn't even know what I walked into. I didn't ask for it. I showed up to the meeting just because I want to be there and hear them out. Slacks is the one that put me in the spot in terms of the quota system. And from there, it just spiraled. And they keep okay. saying they keep saying that they get no communication because neither Max or I show up at their meetings to communicate with them. They want us to go there to communicate with them, but if we're not supposed to go to those meetings so they can cut, like vent and not talk. Not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that they're going to vent and talk if you're at the meetings and you have to be aware of that and know that that is coming and they're going to be unreasonable. You know, it, it's not going to change tomorrow, though. This was, they've been sitting on this since Saturday. Yeah, it's a big thing. Like you, you it, it, at, at the end of the day, you can't change what's happened to them. You can't change anything. I'm not. They're going to have, they, well, they're going to, they can't change it either. It's going to be a point of contention for a while. They can though. They can. That's, that's what they don't understand. There's already been changes made because of feedback from people that didn't like lose their fucking mind. That's the thing I don't understand is like you can talk to us about things and then we make changes. In that moment when they're in a hive mind, is you, you, you're waiting for like the, the reasonable person. There's only going to be a few. They're not a hive mind though. There's a lot of people that don't disagree and a lot of people that do disagree. Right, but they're in their own environment in which they all bounce off one another. Yeah, and it's funny because when people disagree with them being up in arms about it, they get told to shut up and sit down. I mean, there's a way of dealing with it which isn't being irrational but at the same time they are gonna have them opinions it's not gonna be like andy will tell you it's never inherently like positive environment to go into so if if their own people do not see a problem with it they should just shut up and sit down no that's honestly on the higher ups to kind of quell, quell things like that but i don't know how the higher ups work again i'm just working on what you're telling me i don't have all the information but I'm telling you about how I, 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 I like you're asking for my opinion. I'm only giving you how I perceive a PD meeting. I don't know because that what you're doing to me now is you're kind of cornering me because you're giving me half the information. And then when it suits your argument, you're giving me the rest. I'm of not it. So giving I you half the information though. That is literally what happened. Then right, was, but, then was trying to defend Max. The higher ups in this case was very told him to shut up and sit down. 
every time people brought up the argument that Max isn't relaying information, I, I said, Max is not the only one that should relay information. It's your higher ups, it's Nakoda, it's everybody. Have you guys talked to Max? And the person that is like going on about this, like, no, I haven't run into him. So you haven't talked to Max. You haven't made an, an active effort to talk to Max. And then you're like, no, because uh, I, I, I don't run into him. It's like, fine. I don't blame somebody who doesn't run into each other because of hours. If Max wakes up later than you do, I'm not telling you to wake up those hours because that is not fair for either parties. I will never go down the route. I will never think that's fair. But it's a two-way street. Like, they can't just sit there and pout and have their opinions and present those opinions in, in, a, in, a, in a matter that doesn't give any sort of feedback. Because there is okay. changes being made. We are making okay. changes when people talk to us. <laughs> like okay. running, running into a meeting saying that the quota system is extortion. What are we supposed to do with that? Like, <laughs> we can't make any changes. That doesn't give us anything other than them sounding like fucking assholes. Like, I didn't walk into that meeting because I wanted to stop talking about the quota system. That's, again, it was introduced on Saturday. It's been a few days at this point. I was just put in the spot. Well, you asked me about the espresso machine. So all uh -huh. I'm going to say is, is that I don't think that if morale is already low, which you've said it sounds, it is. I don't think taking away an espresso machine is going to do anything for A, their opinion or B, the morale. As for everything else, I'm going to withdraw from having an opinion on this because I don't have enough information to make a non-biased one. Well, what do you think of the quota system? I have no opinion. Okay, you're not. I don't know enough about it. There isn't much to it. I, I, at this point, it is none of my business. Okay. All right, I will not bring that to you. And it's not about bringing it to me. You're kind of cornering me because I'm you're, not trying to corner you. You're though. cornering me, How? and it doesn't matter what I say. You have a you have more information than me that makes me wrong. I'm here to support you, and I'm also here to play devil's advocate with you. But I'm yeah. not going to do that if I feel you know <laughs> like I'm not getting the full story, and then I'm just being backed into a corner to look bad. I don't well, want to do that. I, don't I am trying to give you the full story. What do you feel like I'm 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 I'm, I'm skimping out on in terms of the story? Uh, look. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Okay. I feel like I've just been made into a bad person again, and I don't want to be. How How are you? And I, all I wanted to say is I don't think you should take the espresso machine because I don't think it will do well if you want to rerun against your feelings of PD. I don't think it would benefit you in the long run. Okay. That was it. Yeah, and I'll take that feedback, but I'm not trying to make you... When you're playing devil's advocate, you're, you're supposed to be the devil. I'm not trying to make you, Jenny into a bad person right but it's not devil's advocate because you give me some of the story and then when i come back with a response of why i could be devil's advocate you then go actually there's this as well but actually there's this as well but actually there's this as well which means that i like i'm gonna go <laughs> Dally, go please i feel like she might have had a headache <laughs> that's awkward <laughs> so nice weather. Good weather. I Ooh. was jumping, but I don't feel like it's my place. I had no idea that there was serious oh, context to this cool. coffee machine. There really isn't much context later. other than it was promised I gave him the coffee machine and now I'm threatening to take it back. <laughs>